Today we'll be looking at an indie horror game off of itch.io. This is Let's Find Larry. Think Where's Waldo, or as my people in the UK remember it as, Where's Wally? This is a game where you do just that. You have to find Larry amongst the masses. It requires a good eye, and I might add a fair bit of patience too. However, this game did have a dark twist to it as well, which you'll soon find out in this video. This game came out about two weeks ago, so with it being relatively new, I need to let you know that there will be spoilers in this video for Let's Play Larry. If you want to buy the game for yourself to support the developer of this game, who coincidentally is the same person behind the Night of the Consumers, I'll put the link to this one in the description box below, but with that being said, let's jump into the story. The game starts out with our protagonist walking through a park in the quiet town of Middlewood. Then the protagonist speaks with an old friend from school, their best friend in fact. His name is Larry. Larry has been making waves in the town on account of all of his good deeds. Calling out to Larry, he seems to freak out and run off. Perplexed, the protagonist follows him. Larry tries to hide amongst various people, but when he is spotted by the protagonist, he runs off again. Desperate to know what it is they may have done to Larry to warrant this reaction, they go after Larry once more. This pursuit goes on all the way across town, and Larry asks the protagonist if they are intentionally following him. Later on, Larry tells the protagonist to quit it, and they continue through the town and Larry threatens to call the cops. He shouts out and calls the protagonist a stalker, and he eventually attempts to find refuge in a shopping mall. He tries everything to avoid the protagonist, hiding in a shop's window, hiding in the bathroom, and then finding Larry in the bathroom causes him to freak out some more. He asks if the protagonist is with them before running away again. In pure desperation, Larry steals a prize car from the mall and uses it to escape. Not to worry though, the protagonist finds him again. Under pressure, Larry crashes the car and takes off on foot. Larry runs into a rough part of town with derelict and run-down houses. The mood then shifts. It starts raining and a crack of lightning reveals Larry standing in the road and then he runs into a nearby building. A car arrives and four shadowy figures emerge, similar to shadowy figures that have been standing around the town. One of the figures approaches the protagonist. He's noticed the protagonist following Larry around the town. He pulls out a local paper and on it, a picture of Larry. Good guy Larry. Sounds like the Larry the protagonist knows. The strange man says that he knows Larry is close as he can smell him. They want to speak with him. The man threatens the protagonist and tells them that they are to keep following Larry as they seem to have a knack for tracking people down. If not, then it'll mean trouble. He wants the protagonist to lead them right to Larry. Are these the bad guys? Is Larry a bad guy? What's going on? The man leaves and the protagonist tries to find Larry, but he's nowhere to be found. The protagonist moves on to the seedy part of the neighborhood. Still no sign of Larry. They eventually discover Larry hiding in a trash can. A tearful Larry pleads with the protagonist. He says that they have taken Larry's family and now they're coming for him next. That everywhere he goes, they follow him. He pleads with the protagonist to help him, otherwise he fears that he'll die. Within minutes, the mysterious people arrive and the protagonist is forced to point Larry out to them. Larry flees into a nearby club. The protagonist also enters and finds Larry in the club, much to Larry's utter dismay. Not even a gimp can save Larry from the eager eyes of the protagonist, and after being spotted, Larry flees and leaves the club, heading into a remote area of town. He continuously flees, but the protagonist catches up to him, forcing Larry into a large building. He is trapped. The strange man approaches the protagonist again and congratulates them on a job well done. Larry is trapped on the rooftop of the tall building, and the strange man, bizarrely, hands the protagonist a 50 cal sniper rifle and sends them to take out Larry. With a surprising amount of skill, the protagonist lands a clean shot, leading to Larry falling off of the building and onto what seems to be some trash bags. The strange man says that they've been after Larry for a long time. Watching intently through the rifle's scope, the protagonist sees the strange man call out to Larry, the man spent half of his life hunting Larry down. He calls him something different though, Willy Mac. He tells him to take it off. Somehow, not only surviving a shot from a 50 caliber and falling from a building, Willy Mac then has the strength to jump through the air and he stabs the man to death. But before we proceed, I should explain a few things. Willy Mac was someone who over three years murdered a lot of people and took their identities, i.e. their faces. He would wear their faces in public. In 2001, Willie was arrested and placed behind bars, 
but he got out after his prison transport crashed and Willie Mack was considered dead. The strange man didn't believe that Willie Mack was gone, so he decided he needed to find Willie Mack and put him down for good. The people with him, I'm assuming, are his band of vigilantes, and they're out for some justice. After escaping death and prison, needing to hide and blend in, it didn't take long for Willie to claim his next victim, and that was none other than the real Larry. He dismembered Larry and took his face, burying him in the park. A big mistake given that Larry was a prominent figure in the community and would be recognised by nearly everyone. At the time of the game taking place, Willie Mack had claimed the lives of 17 victims, victims that he'd murdered all over Middlewood. Anyway, after the man had been killed by Willie Mack, the protagonist is there, all alone. Then Willie pops up out of nowhere and presumably kills the protagonist, taking their face, now that Willie's new identity, Larry, is compromised. A local news report then reveals that the police had found the remains of Larry in the park, at the exact location where the protagonist first saw what he thought was his former best friend from high school. Willie Mack had likely just committed the deed when the protagonist came across Willie Mack in the park. But that is pretty much it for this video, a really simple story, but it's a game that I enjoyed and thought I'd do a quick video on. If you enjoyed this one then please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to show support, leave a comment down below with your thoughts, but for now take care and I will see you in the next one.